Opa, and welcome back for another episode of Jack the Greek. We've just come back from the last game of our home and away season for the under-14s at Whittlesea Rangers. And unfortunately we didn't get the win, but we are going to forget about that as soon as we have this beautiful meal. What we have today is some beautiful ribeye steak that we're going to cook. This will probably take us three or four hours, but it doesn't take long to prepare. Watch the preparation. It'll take us a couple of minutes. We'll get a couple of cloves of garlic. We'll make a couple of holes, just like this. As it is, straight in, bang, and bang. Just like that, beautiful. We'll grab some pepper, crunch it on the top, a bit more salt. And the weather's terrible outside today, it's raining, so we don't have much room to play with. Turn on a little bit to the side, a bit more pepper, Whoop, a bit more salt, a bit more salt I reckon on the top. So what we'll do now is put a bit of olive oil, just plaster it on there and we'll rub that in and that will give us some beautiful flavour, just like that. That's it, around the back, around the bone. And there. And what we'll do is, before we put it in our tray, what we're going to do is, is we're just going to put it on the crossroad barbecue and just brown that up a little bit. And listen to this. Ah, that's it. We'll let it sit there and seal. We'll let it sit there and seal for about a minute. We'll turn it on each side. And while we're doing that, we'll prepare our pan. So here we are. This is the pan we're going to use today. Put a couple of pieces just like that. Let's just turn it over while we're waiting. Ah, oh, look at that, it's beautiful. Look at that, just brown up. Excellent. And while we're here, we'll turn down the, the cross ray a little bit. We'll grab one more piece of paper. Put a bit of oil at the bottom just so it sticks. And while we're watching, oh, we'll turn our steak over to the other side. Look at that. Beautiful. There we go. One more side, which is the back. Have a look at that. Look at that beautiful meat just sealing all the way through this beautiful ribeye steak given to us today from Mario's Meats. Opa. Okay, that's about done. We put it straight in the pan, just like that. We put a bit of olive oil on top. A bit more salt. Pepper. We'll grab our foil and we'll get that ready. And before we put that on, we put a bit of water at the bottom so it doesn't stick and it doesn't dry up. Just like that. And here we go. Cover it up. Just like that. And we'll put it into the crossroad barbecue. And in about four hours time, we'll come out and have a beautiful ribeye steak on the crossroad barbecue by Jack the Greek. Opa. Opa, and welcome back. You're with Jack the Greek again, and as you can see, we have our little friend Dimitri here who's going to help us. How did Dimitri get here? Well, he smelt the Crossray barbecue and he decided to come over to help Jack the Greek prepare dinner for tonight. So, Dimitri, what we're going to do is quickly just open this up here, have a quick look. Oh, ah, smell that. Smell that. Beautiful. Tell me, Dimitri, 
Does it smell beautiful? Yeah, it smells amazing. Fantastic. Now, it's been cooking for a couple of hours. But quickly now, I'm going to cut some onions. Just put them on the side like that with the peel. Not a problem with that. And for the kids, we've got some potatoes. So we're going to cut them in half quickly. Put them in like that. We don't want to take too long, Dimitri, because we want to quickly cover it up again. And as we know, all young kids love their potatoes with their meat. So we'll put them in there. We're just going to be careful because it is very hot, Dimitri. Yeah. Here we go. We slide them back there. Put them around there. A couple more. Whatever you can fit. As many as you can fit. So here we go. Beautiful. Look at that. I reckon we can fit one more, Dimitri. Yeah. One more. That's it. One there. One around the back. Oh. Ah, Let's put it in. Let's put the last one in. We'll put this one up the back. I'll get the towel just quickly. You can move it around. And that's it. Give it back. So see? Look how it's going. Look how it's cooking. Beautiful. Fantastic. Okay. Let's close it now. And we're going to leave it in here for another couple of hours. To finish up. It's cooking. Opa. Just like that. We'll close the lid and we'll see you in two and a half hours. And once again, Opa from Jack the Greek and he's one of his greatest fans, Dimitri. Opa. All right, you're back with Jack the Greek again. We're at the final stages of our beautiful ribeye steak. Let's have a close look and see how it's going. We've had to lift it up a couple of times and look at that. Opa, beautiful, beautiful. Excellent. So what we'll do now, what we'll do now is, is that we'll actually move it out slowly. What we want to do is remove the foil. I'll remove my rods that I have here for now. do is, is that we're going to take the potatoes and put them in the in our tray with our onions just like this because they're all ready to go beautiful opa. Opa. and before before we put the beef in the ribeye fillet to rest we're going to crisp it up a little bit on the cross ray barbecue. And I'll show you how we're going to do that just now. We're going to grab it just like this. Look at that. Beautiful. And we're just going to place it here. Look at that. The bones are even coming out. Look at that. So we just let it sit there for a minute. Beautiful. And while that's happening, We'll put the rest of the potatoes in, just on the other side of the plate. With the onions. And there's the bone already coming out. Opa. And we'll just put it there. We'll move our tray away. Look at that, beautiful, beautiful, excellent. Look at that, falling apart. I reckon I can pull this out. Now, what we'll do is we'll just put it down like that, let it flame up a little bit. And turn it over, put it in the middle of our pan. We'll get a little bit of foil. And we bought, before we put it to rest, another beautiful ribeye steak on the Crossroad Barbecue by Jack the Greek. Opas. Okay, you're back with Jack the Greek. As I said, we let the beef ribeye steak rest for about 10 minutes. Now we're gonna take off the foil. And what I wanna show you now that it's rested, it's how easily these bones come apart. Look at that. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is how Jack the Greek 
cooks a ribeye steak on the Crossroad barbecue. Opa.